I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. Jane Lynch started Sunday night's Emmys by celebrating television in a musical number singing about TV as a vast wonderland, a kingdom of joy in a box. Huh? During her monologue, she joked, oh, there's Betty White. She's the reason we start the show at 5 p.m. The show, of course, was aired live at 5 p.m. on the West Coast. Well, it's four in a row for Mad Men. The fourth Emmy as Best Drama puts it in a four-way tie with three older shows, Hill Street Blues, L.A. Law, and The West Wing, as the only dramas to hit that four-win mark. Well, Mad Men started its Emmy season with a whopping 19 nominations. It wound up with only two wins this year, and one of them was for hairstyling. The other, of course, was the biggie Best Drama. It was five wins Sunday night for Modern Family, including its second as Best Comedy. Star Ed O'Neill says he's relieved the show got the second win. All of the adult actresses and actors, including O'Neill, had been up for their supporting roles in Modern Family, and the winners were Julie Bowen and Ty Burrell. Well, Martin Scorsese now has won an Emmy for directing Boardwalk Empire to go with his Oscar for The Departed. The win is added to the seven technical Emmys. Boardwalk Empire won last week at the Creative Arts Ceremony for a total of eight, but it was nominated for 18. Sixteen years after winning her first Emmy for her supporting role in ER, Juliana Margulies has won for her lead role in The Good Wife. As she accepted her Emmy, this time she told her real-life husband, I love you, I love being your good wife, and I'm so grateful you have no political aspirations. Kyle Chandler's win for Friday Night Lights was under the wire just as the show ended. It also was one of the evening's biggest surprises as Chandler beat out favorites John Hamm of Mad Men and Steve Buscemi of Boardwalk Empire. For years, Friday Night Lights got lots of praise, but no Emmys other than one for casting back in 2007. Well, not only did Chandler win for playing Coach Taylor, but the show won for writing. As the Chandler accepted his Emmy, he thanked the people of Austin, Texas, where Friday Night Lights was filmed. And Jim Parsons looked genuinely surprised at winning a second time for the Big Bang Theory. As he accepted his second Emmy, he said, This is so odd for so many reasons. I was assured by many people in my life that this wasn't happening. Backstage, he admitted he thought Steve Carell would win. Carell was a favorite of many, especially since it was his last season for The Office. And one of the funniest moments at Sunday night's Emmys came from the brain of Amy Poehler. At least that's who Melissa McCarthy credits. All six nominees came up to the stage as the names for lead actress in a comedy were read, starting with Poehler. At first it was awkward because the nominees always stay in their seats and it's only the winner who makes the walk to the stage. But when all six were up there and McCarthy's name was announced as the winner for Mike and Molly, the other five hugged her. And McCarthy said the and McCarthy said that the crowd had given her long stemmed flowers and she said, holy smokes. Wow, this is my first and best pageant ever. She said, I'm from Plainfield, Illinois and I'm standing here and it's just kind of amazing. Well, in local entertainment news, it's a masked night in Venice. The first five charity events hosted by the senior class of the Culinary Institute of America. The festivities will kick off at 6 p.m. on September 24th with a cocktail hour and hors d'oeuvres and a silent auction to benefit Abilities First. The number for reservations is 471-6608. That's your latest entertainment report. For a new update daily, log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.